Hello, NJ, Route22.com here. I'm testing out a new microphone. Not really new, it's just a piece of crap um, lapel mic. I bought an extension wire, it, it didn't work, so I'm using this like short wire. I'm like tethered to my uh, little setup here. Welcome to the supermarket roundup for uh, the end of September here. I forget the date. I was on vacation for the last week. I went out to Rhode Island in Massachusetts. And that's the reason why I'm featuring uh, Ocean State Job Lot on the front, front uh, first uh, thing here. I just got back from a 10 hour drive. So I'm like doing this like off the cuff here. But we went to a job lot out in uh, Rhode Island and it was very interesting. It was like that, I guess that's where they come from. The job lots in those other states up to the Northeast are, they have more things. There's a whole lot more things going on in, in those stores. More variety. I guess they pick the top 50% of top selling items and stick them in the New Jersey stores. But you, you find a lot more stuff out there. Just something to keep in mind. And okay, next is the Kings. We're not even gonna talk about Kings uh, today because we find them to be more expensive. But if you, if you study their flyers, you can find things that, that are pretty good deals uh, for the most part. Um, it's far and few between, so we only go there for convenience. And they have some sort of Italian thing. I, I have no idea. Here's a question for you, random question. Do you shop at Walmart for groceries? I wouldn't, but I mean, every now and then, you find yourself at a Walmart for some reason, and uh, occasionally you can find something that that is uh, that is a, a quality product, not chips. You don't want to buy chips ever, really. But sometimes you'll find something that's that's okay. But I'm just wondering what. Here's something to keep in mind, though. If you don't love, I don't know why I'm not focusing. Wait, wait, hold on. If you don't love the meat, produce, service deli, or baker, you get a full refund. So give it a shot. What do you have to lose? IGA Bishops, White House, or Pennington, New Jersey. Uh, and there's a couple other in, in the far reaching areas. But they have a good deal this week on organic pears. A buck 49 a pound is a good price for pears. And here's another um, Hatfield bacon, not my favorite, but if you need bacon, $3.99 a pound is our top price to pay. Um, Folgers. I like instant coffee. Instant coffee is never this price. It's never that low. Why? I guess it's really, really costly. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I circled anything else in here. Because, oh, you know what I wanted to talk about? They're 80% ground beef. I tried it uh, about a month ago or a few weeks ago, I forget. It was okay. It was, apparently Bishop's has a good bish, uh, butcher section, but I didn't find the meat all that flavorful, honestly. I mean, I, I hate to give a knock to uh, my local restaurant, I mean, a uh, supermarket. And now we're on to ShopRite again. Obviously, you can see I didn't prepare very well for this week's supermarket roundup. What do we got going on? I, I looked at this in like 20 seconds. Oscar Mayer bacon, four bucks a pound. That's, 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 you should never pay more, ever. Um, what else? I didn't look at any of these coupons. And by the way, again, I will remind everyone that we don't promote bad foods and we know they're bad foods. Like chips or grains or Cheerios or cereal or granola, granola it's just not good for you. And I think you need to, to do your own research to figure it out. And again, like I said, every week, Purdue, Purdue Poultry is always 40% off. I can't wait till it's not 40% off, because I'd like to, because uh, every week it is. And I'd like to point out two things not to buy are these Nature's Reserve Australian meats. They're not good. They taste like game, like game food, I, I roadkill. And I tried this fried chicken a week or two ago. I have to say it tasted a little bit cleaner, but I think something happened to the to the the meat. Maybe I got a bad batch. I'll try it again, but I think I got a bad batch. I think it was a little bit on the weak side, like they like the the, the chickens went on a hunger strike or something before they uh, cooked them. 
Again, I'll say it again, I, I only looked at this for a few seconds. Oh, always buy the Mutz at a buck 99 a pound. I mean, there's no reason to pay full price, honestly. And for some reason we read about the Sargento cheese having a problem, like some quality control problem. We'll never buy it again. I, I can't get away from it. I like the ShopRite cheese. It works works fine for us. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm looking through this uh, live uh, almost. I see so many junk foods here. I, I can't I can't begin to tell you like how careful you need to be. You know what I discovered? I don't know if I mentioned it on the blog, but uh, most ketchup has MSG in it. Find the organic ketchup uh, sweetened with like organic cane sugar. I mean, the reason everybody loves ketchup on their fries and they just can't stop dipping and slurping the, the ketchup is because it's sweet, number one. But number two, the, the, the traditional brand of ketchup uh, has MSG in it, uh, from what I read. And now I understand why I, I, could, I couldn't stop eating it. And that's why we don't eat anymore. I use mustard as a condiment mostly now. I'm drinking some wine here in case you're wondering. This is a nice, uh, uh, what do you call these, uh, ball bell jars of uh, wine. I'll try and be done before eight minutes. This is six and a half minutes. Flour, sugar, cookies. No, no, no. You, you, you can't do it. I mean, if you want to be... By the way, we went to Rhode Island and Massachusetts. And I noticed that that the obesity in the people that were out and about was worse than New Jersey, if you can believe it. It was absolutely worse than New Jersey. I, I, I will stand by that. I mean, it was disgusting. What did they do to that, those two states? Maybe not Rhode Island as much, but Massachusetts, holy moly. Fat, fatachusets, they should call it. It was really ridiculously, insanely unhealthy. I, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Like a whole state's gonna be like, like, like euthanized eventually. Sorry, Massachusetts. You asked for it, really. Uh, there's nothing else I see in these, in these flyers this week. I'm gonna look at the liquor section at the end. Again, these na these vitamins are all half price. I don't, not a big fan of nature's mate. Again, remember, nature, 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 nature. They use these freaking feel good words. And I think they're probably made in some sort of weird uh, chemical factory, but I don't like any of these brands. Nature's truth, nature made. Dot, dot. ShopRite is the only one that I think actually has some, uh, I, can I can tell it works. And I think that's it for ShopRite. I'm just rambling here because I didn't prepare. Ridiculous. A two pound bag of pistachios for 15 bucks is just uh, too much. Okay, let's see what they have at their liquor store here. And I'm wondering, I shouldn't even talk about uh, liquor store prices. Like you should pick your good cheap wine and, and stick with it. The Ch El Cheapo Cheapest. I haven't tried Fox Hollow yet. Um, and not all shop rights carry them, they're all different. The Apothic wines are good, except the Inferno. I, I have a bottle of Inferno sitting in my closet here. It's like a 16% red wine. Oh my. I, I'm gonna review that on my uh, cheap wine reviews. It was like 16 bucks. It, it's gonna be an exception to my cheap wine reviews. Black Box, not a big fan. It doesn't pass the two liter, I mean a two bottle test, which is uh, one and a half liters. Uh, da, 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 da. Shania and uh, actually Franzia passes the two bottle test, but I want to tell you something interesting about Franzia real quick. Franzia is the, like the cheapest boxed wine you can get. However, it truly is a boxed wine. You have to be extremely careful not to drink more than uh, two bottles because if you do, you're going to feel like utter rubbish for days two days after so you got to control it like much like a bottle and a half tops maybe a bottle but it, it does pass the two bottle test just not more than two bottles and it's a warning it's like uh, 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 warning do not do it it's i went up to 10 minutes here okay see you next week hopefully i can do a better job preparing take care